This tip was triggered by something I saw Matt Kloskowski do in his recent, one of the recent Photoshop TV editions that I was looking at on iTunes. Pretty good tip. He was masking this image in Photoshop and I was thinking, hang on, I can do something similar in Illustrator. I should really show people how to do that. Do this by placing an image in Illustrator and using your brush tool. And I'm grabbing this default scribble brush and I'm going to scribble something over the top of this. I've got a stroke color of white selected as you can see and my fill color is set to none. However as I'm using this brush notice that it doesn't appear in white and it doesn't always happen with brushes sometimes it does. So the first thing I want to do is edit the art brush options by double clicking the brush in the brushes palette. Notice here the colorization section. To get a little bit more information on it click the tips button but all I'm going to do here is change the method to tints. The next thing that I want to do is increase the thickness of this particular brush as it is applied and I'm going to set the width to 300%. Click OK and apply this to all of the strokes that I've already got drawn. Back to the selection tool, shift click the image in the background so you've got both components selected and now in the transparency palette select make opacity mask. Now I can add more brush strokes to this mask by making sure that I've got the mask icon selected. If you've got the image selected you can move and shift your image around. If I've got the mask selected I can actually edit this mask. So I'm going to jump back to my brush tool and I'm going to paint a little bit more. And what I really like here in Illustrator is that I'm actually using a Wacom tablet. Just a little graphite tablet, not one of those big ones. And it, it's cool because you really feel like you're, you've got a, a pen in your hand. And just this, this particular work works really well with it. So you can sort of start to see the actual effect that you get when you're using this tool. Happy with the result? I certainly am. And this is your final image, masked and everything.